you, thank you for choosing our video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to 10, ba bl bl 10 best places to visit in India. We're Life Meets Family. I'm Sunshine. I'm Emma. I'm Big Man. The Savage. And I'm Dan. And if you'd like to join our family, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. Are you okay, dude? Are you falling off here? Yeah. And <laughs> our mom, she had a work light, so she's not in this video. So sad. But let's go and check us out. Uh, this will actually help us start making a list of where we want to visit <gasps> when we come to India. We're coming to Spoiler. India. We're going to India. Woo! Yeah. For all check those it out. people who Here want us to come to India. Oh, I want to go there. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Touch my go Nope. Golden Temple. Oh. India is an enormous and diverse destination. Yep. Bordered by seven different countries, That's not so to cool. mention the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal, means that, that there That's are awesome. many different sides to the country. More than 20 official languages, multiple religions, and a variety of cuisines exist within India's borders. To truly experience the breadth of Indian culture and history, travel wow. is key. Here's a look at the best places to visit in India. That's rice. A lot of these temples yeah, we've seen. Number 10, Udaipur. The city of lakes, Udaipur, glistens romantically on the edge of the desert in Rajasthan. The city is protected by lush hills and is where you can find the mesmerizing lake palace in the middle of a tranquil lake. Wow. Another captivating site is the imposing but graceful city palace along with the Monsoon Palace, which stands out with walls made of gleaming white marble. Explore old temples, walk the winding streets of this fanciful corner of India, and slip Buy bikes there? Yes. Probably. Yes. I'll be scared if I would hit someone or something. Number 9. Amritsar. The Punjabi city of Amritsar lies on the border with Pakistan and is home to the holiest of Sikh sites. The Golden Temple is in the heart of the old walled city. This serene Sikh shrine provides a place for reflection and inspiration. You can tour the Golden Temple regardless of religion, but you will need to show respect by covering your head and removing your shoes. The streets surrounding the temple are a frenetic fusion of people, markets, and activity. Be sure to pick up some traditional goods, such as hand-embroidered fabrics and delicately ornate shoes. This is where they feed uh, oh, yeah. people for free every day. That's yeah. so cool. I want to help out. Number awesome. 8. Ladakh. In northernmost India, so in the heavily disputed yes. Kashmir region, is the mountainous destination of Ladakh. This region is large, but it has a low population density and a number of nomadic residents. Breathtaking, pristine scenery is a major draw to the area, but virtually all travelers will also spend time in the town of Leh. The zone is located at a very high elevation, and it is home to the 17th century palace of the King of Ladakh. Buddhist culture is also prominent in Leh, and you may wish to explore some of the many Buddhist monasteries and temples. Oh, cool. Number 7. Yes. Goa Beaches. 
On the yes. western coast of India is Goa, a former western. colony of Portugal that blends Indian culture with colonial influences and plenty of international tourism. Goa is popular largely because of its spectacular beaches. The busiest of all is Kendalim Beach, where travelers from around the world flock to soak up the sun. Anjuta Beach, by contrast, is far less crowded. It is also an amazing place where you can walk to Chapora Fort and admire the sandy coastline from a new perspective. Palalam is considered one of the most beautiful beaches in all of Goa, with its natural bay surrounded by lofty headlands on either side. Number 6. Delhi If you're spending any time in northern India, you will almost certainly visit the capital city of Delhi. The enormous, sprawling destination is home to several districts, and it is considered to be one of the oldest cities in the world. Whoa. One of the top sites in Delhi is the Red Fort, which was built in the 17th century. The Red Fort is made from sandstone, and you will be able to walk through its Lahore Gate, into the bazaar, through the Jewel Palace, and even into the former residence of the Sultan. While in Delhi, you should also make time for the many museums and religious structures that make up the city. like a flower. Yeah. Look, they're walking on the left. Number five. You see that? Ellora Opposite of us. Delta Caves. In the state of Maharashtra, you can explore the caves of both Ellora and Ajanta. At Ellora, there is an enormous complex of shrines carved from the rocky landscape. These 34 wow. cave shrines are up to 1,500 years old. Oh, wow. And they are from three distinct religions. Buddhism, Jainism, and Hinduism. Two hours away is Ajanta, which is home to 29 caves. The Ajanta caves are covered in murals and paintings, most of which reflect Buddhist stories. While the two cave complexes are two hours away from one another, it is well worth visiting both to compare these incredible attractions. I mean, they carved it with that machines. Mm -hmm. No machines, no jackhammers. No. No air tools. Whoa. Number four, oh, Varanasi. A city that may seem strange to many Westerners, Varanasi is of great religious importance. The holy city sits on the banks of the divine Ganges and is believed by Hindus to be a sacred place of pilgrimage. The city is known for the religious practices that take place on the ghats alongside the river. Pilgrims wash themselves in the waters of the Ganges and the bodies of Hindus are cremated. The sights of life and death along the riverside can be shocking, but a visit to Varanasi is also contemplative and ultimately helps visitors to further understand India's deep cultural and snakes? spiritual practices. Oh yeah. How do the snakes like not bite at them? I don't know, they know what they're doing. Different they are to yeah. one another. 
I mean, no matter where you are in the world, doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to make it. I flowers. Number three, Kerala. The southwestern state of India, known as Kerala, is a place on, of tropical uh, beauty. Palm trees, white sand beaches, and ecotourism are all big reasons to explore the region. Besides its famous backwaters, elegant houseboats, and temple festivals, Kerala is also home to the Tikadi Tiger Preserve. The hub of Kerala is the city of Kochi, where you can see the local fishing industry thriving along with modern high-rises and colonial architecture. is known for one thing, the iconic and ultimately impressive Taj Mahal. Set on the south bank of the Yamuna River, the Taj draws millions of tourists a year. Built by an emperor as an extravagant memorial to his wife, the mausoleum's porcelain white marble is an emblem of romance and adventure. Agra itself sits in the shadows of its imposing monument, but is a small and welcoming city. The ancient Mughal-era Agra Fort is an attractive spot to visit peer over the walls and catch your first hypnotizing glimpse of the Taj. What's cool is that like, I think different times of day, uh, the light would reflect on it differently because it's, you know, white, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think it look more white. Sometimes a little more rosy. Yeah. inside of it. it so cool. And as a gift to his uh his wife. Yeah. Pretty gangster. Yeah. Would you like that gift for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. Gardens, all these gardens are like perfect. Mm -hmm. Number one, Jaipur. I'm seeing one working the pink city of Jaipur is the capital of Rajasthan and is where you can find the beautiful Amber Fort, a sprawling, stunning complex set in the hillside overlooking the lake. Located just outside of the city and built in 1592, the grandiose citadel was also a palace for some time, but is now an impressive tourist attraction. Make sure to take a trip to the opulent city palace with its stunning courtyards and gardens, plus the amazingly intricate Palace of Winds. Jaipur forms one corner of the Golden Triangle, and it also makes a great gateway into the lesser known destinations within Rajasthan. Oh, we've seen that uh, palace over there. Whoa. I think we might have seen that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Look how calm that water is. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So what do you think? <coughs> my, fa shine? my favorite part was number two, which was the Taj Mahal. I really yes. want to see that. Mm -hmm. That's the high on my list to see. What about you? Definitely. Um, I really like the Golden Temple. Mm -hmm. I love how they give out free food every day. That is so nice. Would you try some? Uh, probably. Probably. What, what about you? I'd like to help. <laughs> For sure. What do you think, My big favorite man? one is the Taj Mahal also because it got some mini miniature, like, uh, Lego version of it. Oh yes, true. So my favorite. I mean, we're not very being very fun right now because my favorite is Golden Temple. So we only picked two favorites out of at least two. Mm -hmm. And the Golden Temple was amazing. I like. We are all about helping other people. We love giving service. So the idea that you can go there and help and perform service would be amazing. I would obviously love to eat also, 
I mean, how many people have been to the Golden Temple from here? And to go to a to something like that would be amazing. So let yes. us know which of these places should we definitely go to when we visit, and awesome. which place should we not go to. But guess what? Our comments are turned off by no! YouTube. YouTube turns our comments off, okay? Every time. Yeah, no. every time they do, not us. But you can talk to us on Instagram or on our community page. Community page. We oh. love you guys, and thank you so much yeah. for hanging out with us today. Make sure you subscribe so you can see our brand new two videos <gasps> tomorrow. Two videos? Yes. Two. We love you. Bye. Bye. Make sure you do daily dab. Dab, tink, tong. I'm not excited about having people watch me. So who won the challenge? Me. 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 <laughs>